We are, we are Country Markets. I'm a, a shareholder from, for um, Barnstable Country Market. And that was established, we've just had our 75th anniversary for Country Markets countrywide, but they were originally WI Markets, um, formed at the um, beginning of the last war. And um, therefore, I was, we, we did a celebration cake and I was giving that away and everything. And um, so that is the history. We, ca we can't establish exactly when our country market started in Barnstable, um, but it was possibly during the last war, but it's certainly been going since the 1950s. But as I said, that was the original WI markets, but then we had to come or change the name basically because of the charity commissioners at the beginning of the 90s and become country market. But our logo, still says WIM, or one of our logos that we use. <laughs> um, and there are, I don't know how many in the country, but it is, you know, there are a few hundred in the country. Um, and every market sells different sort of things, but some of them will be selling meat and whatever. Um, and, um, but it's mostly cooked produce that, that we do so, okay. and we and every anybody can be a shareholder for five p, including gentlemen, mm -hmm. and we've always invited gentlemen into country markets or WI markets. <laughs> but my mother was the founder member um, in Sussex of the first farmers market in the in the country, and that was in the early sixties. <clears throat> And that's when they had to get um, planning. Oh, they had to get permission and go to the high court to trade on a Sunday to to sell stuff that wasn't from your farm gate in another venue. Um, and consequently, since then, the um, obviously the farmers markets have grown a lot. My, my husband had taken early retirement from British Gas. But then he set up his own business and um, he sold cattle ear tags because I was the farming one on the, on the farm. He would help, obviously, but I was the farming one. And um, having said at 18, I wouldn't go back on the farm. Um, <laughs> and um, then he used to come into to Barnstable Market and, and, uh, and have a little stand there and sell his ear tags. And then later on, when Barnstable Market closed, then he went to South Moulton. Um, and um, yes, he, he died actually eight years ago now, um, but he was doing what he wanted to do up to the last, so that was a blessing. But it was buzzing, I mean, I was brought up pretty well, I was almost born in a market in Sussex, um, thanks to my mother, bless her, <laughs> and she was the farmer, and again, as I said, my, my father was at sea, in the Merchant Navy. And um, yes, it was just a community and everybody knew everybody and um, they'd all try and get the best price for whatever they could and, you know, there was always a bit of haggling going on. <laughs> but it was a market day, it was their sort of, it was the day everybody got together yeah. and therefore it was a community day. Yeah. And it's the same as coming into the pannier markets, you see.